Well, we have a, a couple of minutes left, so uh, why don't we close with um, anything you want to add, uh, given um, our discussion today or uh, the conference uh, in general? I love Matt's example about the lottery ticket thing, um, but I would actually put a finer point on it because it's not so. Yes, I'm sure you're right that if you ask it, what are the winning lottery numbers, it, it cannot answer that. The bigger problem is where it will answer a question and it should not. Um, the, the, the action for all of us is the same as, as what, what Matt said, you know, asking very precise, specific questions is essential because the, the key thing here is that we need to disambiguate, right? You, you have to, because there, there are implicit assumptions in everything we do, and we often don't realize our own assumptions. You know, we'll be sitting in a meeting talking to somebody and they'll they'll make a claim based on some assumption they've made. We won't share that assumption and won't, won't understand that assumption. And so we'll disagree. But the model makes those implicit assumptions as well. And you don't know what they are. So, and especially if it's in a domain that like we, we all know it, it answers with answers that sound very authoritative to the uninformed. But if it's a domain that you know well, like you ask it big questions of something you know well, and you'll realize how stupid the answers are, right? So you know, I think be asking very precise questions, you know, working really hard to disambiguate, re remove, remove the as much of the opportunity for implicit bias as possible is gonna be a key success factor. So I'll leave with, with three points. Number one, always remember that an AI may be able to now generate, but humans are the ones that innovate. That's, that's the first point. The second point is, and we didn't even talk about this very much, but governance and ethics matters. And there should be a governance and ethics board established in any organization that deploys AI to make sure that it doesn't answer questions that it shouldn't answer. And to make sure that it removes bias when bias should not be applied and that it is providing the right types of answers. And then the third thing is make sure you have laser focused use cases and start small because the cost will balloon if you try and boil the ocean. So governance and ethics, know your use cases to keep the cost down and remember that humans will always be the ones that innovate. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the Thank end you. of our panel. Thank you.